geographic print from back when the Apollo mission landed on the moon. There it is. If I wanted to go get that book, I can go get it for 99 cents on eBay. Let's look at the other end of the spectrum. What's the most expensive stuff I can buy? Uh, 650, that's a little high for me. Uh, here's one, Apollo 11 uh, photo signed by Buzz Aldrin for $150. The auction is still up for five days. I double click, I go right to that page. And there's the photo signed by Buzz Aldrin. I can enter my, uh, my bid on this and keep, come back and keep tracking to see whether I'm the highest bidder. So that's Sherlock 2. It's going to make it really easy for people to not only find information on the internet, find people and news, but to make it extremely easy to shop for any goods or services you want on the internet, all from one Mac, Mac OS standard interface. I have one more demo I'd like to do. Uh, since we're here at Seabold Publishing Show, a lot of our best and biggest customers here, I thought we'd show you some of the power of the new Apple Script inside Mac OS 9. As Steve told you, Apple Script can now run over TCP IP. So any computer on the internet can be involved in your workflow. Well, last year we stood here and showed you Apple Script running native, PowerPC, native code, five times faster than Mac OS 8.5. And millions of customers are using that to automate their workflow. And in our demonstration, we had the one button I had to click, and on my computer, I completely automated making a brochure right there on the screen. And it did all the work for me. Well, now, as you can see, we have two screens up here. The computer on the left is my home computer here in San Francisco. Pretty picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. Makes it easy to know right there, the left, San Francisco. On the right, I have another machine representing perhaps my service bureau in New York. Beautiful picture of the Brooklyn Bridge there. And the only thing connecting these two computers is an internet connection. There is nothing else connecting these computers. They have a TCP IP address on the internet, but we've set up a secure connection inside AppleScript using the new keychain feature of Mac OS 9. So what I'm going to do to create a brochure, I'm going to open up FileMaker. I'm going to create a brochure from a database of information, something a lot of our customers do, database-driven publishing. I'm going to click a button right here to launch my script, and that's all I have to do, and the computer will do the rest. It launches Adobe's InDesign. It opens up the template to create my brochure, and now it starts talking to the computer in New York, and it's saying, I need images for my brochure. The computer in San Francisco is laying out the text, laying out the document on its own, and requesting images from a database on the computer on the right. The computer on the right is not only serving up those images, but cropping and resizing them for the size requested by launching Photoshop and using Photoshop on its machine. And the power of this is incredibly obvious. To write one script that automates a workflow across multiple computers around the internet with a secure keychain key communications. We're almost done, two more images to go. Again, they're working in parallel. The one on the left doesn't have to wait for the run on the right. One more image to go, and we're done. So that's really giving new meaning to the term internet publishing, the ability to create publishing documents across the internet using the power of AppleScript and Mac OS 9. Thank you very much. So we think OS 9 is going to be an incredibly great release, and we encourage you all to buy it when it comes out this October. It's your internet co-pilot. It's going to sell for $99. Take a look at it. It's very, very strong. We've worked very, very hard on it. And this brings us to our systems products. Now, as you know, we have a strategy have a very simple product line and have great products in all four of these quadrants. A pro desktop and portable, a consumer desktop and portable. And at Macworld last month, when we introduced our iBook, it's been the first time we filled in all quadrants of this matrix. And we're really excited about that and we're firing on all cylinders now. So I'd like to review these with you briefly. First one is the iMac. As you know, the iMac, we came out with the colored iMacs. Our code name was Lifesavers in January. They took off like a rocket, and they've been incredibly strong ever since. 
And iMac was one year old two weeks ago. Unbelievable. <laughs> Seems like a lot longer to me. And uh, a lot's happened in that year. We sold two million iMacs in that year. And in North America, 90% of the iMac owners are on the internet. That's off the charts. So they're clearly using this you know, as their primary internet access device. And a third of these buyers are first-time computer owners. This is tremendous, not only for them, but for Apple. <laughs> Another thing that's happened in the last year is with iMac, we pioneered universal serial bus. This was something that had been invented a while ago and was really not going anywhere, and we got behind it because we thought it was the future of all personal computing. And built it into the iMac, and the results have been staggering. Uh, we now have over 125 shipping USB devices with double that announced. And it's taken off like a rocket. And the Wintel world is now trying to catch up. It's clear that this is going to be the universal standard for medium speed peripherals in the entire industry, with Apple leading the way. And a few great new USB devices you may want to check out in the booth. NEC has got this cute little portable scanner. And one of the neat things about USB, of course, is you can hot plug it in and out while the power is on without re restarting the computer, without having to load drivers. And it also supplies power. So the scanner, as an example, is powered right off the USB bus. Another cool one that we're finally starting to see is the multifunction printers. There's two from Epson and one from Canon and more on the way. They do faxing, scanning, printing, all off of USB. So USB has been a, a huge success. Another thing that's gone through the roof in the last year is the number of new and renewed Macintosh applications. We watch this very carefully because this is the barometer of how well we are attracting and retaining our core developers, one of the most important constituents to Apple and obviously to our customers. And it's gone through the roof. 4,380 new and renewed Mac apps in the last year. And they're obviously too numerous to show them to you here today. So I picked out one that I thought you might want to see. Uh, IBM announced their Via Voice technology last month for the Macintosh, and it's my pleasure to invite Ozzy Osbourne, the general manager of IBM's speech systems division, up here to give us a demo. Ozzy? Thank you, Steve. It's a pleasure to be here again. It's uh, really exciting to bring our Via Voice dictation product to the Macintosh. We're really taking two easy-to-use products, bringing them together, and giving you more power. Last month at uh, Macworld in New York, we announced it, and I have been getting cards and letters, emails. It's been a great success. But instead of telling you how to do it, I think the best thing to do here is to show you. So I'm going to have Jeff Kuznets join me. He's down from our Almaden uh, Center, down in Almaden uh, Research Center. Let him do the demo. And so, Jeff, it's all yours. Hi, I'm Alice Cooper, and here. <laughs> Here to give you a brief demonstration of Via Voice on uh, Macintosh, of course. <laughs> Dear readers, colon, new paragraph. You live and you learn, exclamation point. I drove all the way to San Francisco for an exclusive interview with Ozzy, comma, but I got here and I found the wrong Ozzy, period. No bats or chickens, comma, but this one was even more bizarre, period. He talks to computers, exclamation point. And what's truly outrageous, comma, they actually listen to him, exclamation point. Sorry I won't have a music column for you this month, comma, but I think we're on to something even bigger, period. Transfer to Microsoft Word. And we're done. It's really amazing. It's really exciting to be on the Mac platform. Uh, if you want to see more, we're in the Apple booth. Uh, we're easy to find. If it's anything like Macworld, we're about 10 or 12 deep. So come join us, and we look forward to being on the Mac platform. Thanks, Steve. Two years ago, nobody would listen to us. Now we got our computers listening to us.